the last property of amplifiers I would like to familiarize you with is the slew rate. For the slew rate, we apply a pulse at the input of the amplifier and we investigate the voltage at the output of the amplifier in the time domain. The slope of the pulse at the input is ideally infinite both when stepping up and when stepping down. And the slew rate SR is the time derivative of the output voltage, which is graphically represented as the rise of the output waveform or the falling edge of the output waveform over time. The slew rate is also shown in the datasheet of the operational amplifier MC33078. The red input voltage is referred to the right side of the diagram, so it's stepping between plus 10 and minus 10 as the reference voltage. We can see from the conditions here that we are operating with the supply rail of plus minus 15 volts. The amplifier is loaded with 2 kilo ohms and we are operating it at an ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. The operational amplifier is configured as a voltage follower with the gain 1. And for this specific test, we also need to specify what the load capacitance is. And in this case, the 100 picofarad are a realistic representation of the input capacitance for a potential following stage. As we have a voltage gain of 1, the output voltage, which is referred to the left y-axis of the graph, is also swinging between minus 10 volts and plus 10 volts. And from the rising edge of the output voltage, we can see that we have around 20 volts per 3 microseconds, whereas the slew rate for the falling edge is a little bit faster with 20 volts per approximately 2 microseconds.